Hello, welcome back to Deconstructing with Dawn. I got my Ipsy bag in the mail late last night, actually. Um, so I wanted to share it with you guys. This is December 2017. Um, that's the envelope it comes in. Has anybody gotten any more of those golden envelopes or like yellow envelopes from me they were going around? And they had like $5 in them. I never got one, <laughs> but is anybody getting them anymore? I haven't seen anybody talk about that. So anyway, ooh. Can use one of these for like, you know, winter tanning. I digress. This is the bag. It is a fun wintry bag. I feel more January-ish, but whatever, you know, it's winter in some places. Um, anyway, it is like a mint green zipper with the Ipsy on it right there. And then like a sparkly light blue, baby blue, silvery kind of bag. Um, it's that pleathery kind of stuff, so it's fine, I'm sure. You know, honestly, I have only used the bags, probably one of the bags once, <laughs> so I don't use these things. I don't even know why I care what they look like, but anyway. Um, I have opened it because I thought something was smashed. Um, this is the theme. I'm like all over the place. I'm sorry, you guys. I am not feeling well, so I'm like, whoa. Anyway, um, it is Snow Globe. Ipsy 20, December 2017. Um, during the frostiest, most festive time of the year, we find beauty and spo everywhere. Icicles, fresh blankets of snow, and twinkly holiday lights have a streaming of an iridescent nail art, crisp white eyeliner, and shimmery skin. That's a, that's interesting because I have a white eyeliner that I got in, I don't know what, I think Target box, and I've never used it. And I kept thinking, oh, well, now summer's over. I can't use it. But if that's an inspiration for holiday, then I will try to break out that white eyeliner. Um, anyway, this is what's in my bag. Now, why I opened my bag ahead of time was because this felt squishy inside. This, I swear, is half used. And that's not cool because I opened it up to see if it had a safety seal on it, and it did not. I thought it got all over my bag. It did not. That's, but, well, that's why I opened it. But it's like half gone. Um, so that kind of sucks. It's by Barefoot Venus Wildflower Instant Hand Repair. Um, and it, it, you know, doesn't have a seal on it. Um, it's a nice thick lotion and I really liked how fast it absorbed when I put it on last night. But I really wish I would have gotten a full sample. <laughs> um, but it has a nice, um, I, like a, a fruity kind of smell to it, but it's not sticky. Um, but it, it absorbs really nicely, so I really like it. I just wish I would have gotten a full sample. Um, so, also what I got is Seraphine Botanicals Orange and Cream Lip Polish. Now, I think I've gotten three lip polishes, and um, aside from that one I got at Ulta that, I, that smelled like um, pineapple, I've never used a full container or even put a dent in any of these kind of things. So, it's kind of a bummer. I don't really like them. It did come with a safety seal. Um, and another thing is I hate the scent of citrus. So I'm, and it's orange, so I'm not gonna probably use this, but um, it does have a good amount of oil in it. And I noticed today that my lips look really red. And I think it's cause I put this on last night and it like scruffed it up really good. Oh dear, I got too much on. Um, anyhow, um, it has a uh, oils and exfoliate. See the sugar in it, um, but the oils are really good. I just can't stand the scent of orange. So um, whoever got this is probably really gonna like it. It, it seems to work great. Um, the oils stay on for a while. The sugar kind of melts down. But I'm not honestly not gonna use it because it. I just can't stand that smell. I don't know. You know, and I'll I'll, I'll explain. Briefly, I know you guys can't stand me rambling sometimes, but when I was pregnant with my son, I was very, that's when I first got sick, sick. And um, I was just really ill from the beginning to the end. In fact, by the time I had him, I was down 12 pounds. And so I didn't gain any weight with having him. Um, I was really sick. You know, they, it was a bad pregnancy. And, and not, not in the sense of, um, you know, morning sickness, because I really didn't get sick that way. Um, I, I, they found out I had a heart problem. Um, my asthma was really bad. All this kind of stuff. But um, the scent of orange, my husband would come home from work and he had this, like, orange stuff, like mechanics use. He was a garage door installer for 27 years. And so during the time that our son was 
I was pregnant with our son. That's what he did for a living. And he would come home and he would, you know, wash his hands in this simple orange or something like that. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but the smell would make me so sick that I would literally make him go outside and wash his hands with the hose at, to get the first layer of grease off because I could not stand that smell. So ever since then, I've had an aversion to citrus. Um, I don't remember beforehand if I really cared about it or not, but now I absolutely positively cannot stand it. So that's a long story short about orange, but this seems to work great and I'm sure somebody's gonna like it. But for now, I've gotta get this off. <laughs> anyway, oh my pants, Isn't that nice? I forgot to bring a wipe. Hmm. Anyway, because I wanted to show you guys this. This is Ofra um, by Ipsy called in Unzipped. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, but see how red it makes your lips? So it must be like exfoliating and making blood rush because when you exfoliate, I know um, you know, by just by rubbing it, it makes your lips hydrate and that kind of thing. So it really is a good thing. I'm sorry, Seraphine Botanicals. If you had any other scent besides orange, I probably would love it. Um, anyway, so it has a code on the back that tells you that you can use an Ipsy code, Ipsy30 for 30% 30 off OfraCosmetics.com. It's made in the USA and it is a liquid lipstick. I'm assuming it's called Unzipped but it's specifically for Ipsy, Ipsy bagging. Um, the color is really right up my alley, kind of like matches my shirt, so that's a good thing. Um, the, the foot is um, okay, and the color, ah, a teensy bit dark, but I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, I kind of like it. Um, I didn't put it on last night, so I'm not sure how it'll dry down. I probably should have done this first, or at least right after that orange stuff first. But anyway, okay. Um, next thing is Dirty Little Secret. And um, I, don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. Let's see what it is. Eyeshadow Crayon uh, in the color Fetch. So here is a, well, it's really sparkly. I kind of like that. Um, yeah, oh, you're not, I don't know if you can see that, but in real life, <laughs> it's really glowing really nicely. Um, I don't know, you guys. See how it sparkles? That is almost like a good highlighter, huh? Like, maybe a highlighter. I don't use cream. Um, yeah, it looks like it, it, I don't use cream eyeshadow, but it, it blends really nicely, and I don't know if you can see if there's any highlight there, but I already had highlight on my face beforehand, but I don't know, I like it. Maybe I'll use it for that. It's a really great color for me, anyway, um, and it blends really nicely. Like, well, it blends so much that it's almost gone, <laughs> but maybe like for a highlighter, maybe not so much for um, a eyeshadow. But that is really little secret. I, I like their other stuff. I know that though the um, lip products kind of go away really fast, so maybe that's probably the case with this um, eye stick. Anyway, last thing is um, a Luxie brush. Aren't the Luxie brushes pink though? Right or no? Um, anyway, it's called Precision Shader. The head's a little bent because they always are. When they come in these bags, but um, a nice, I'm sure it'll, well, whatever. It says precision shader. So would that be like, like, like here? I don't know. I use one brush for everything. That little dual ended blue brush. I can't even know who it's by, but I love it for everything. I just beat the hell out of it to get all the shadow off and I just use it again. So I don't know what a precision shader is for, but it's Luxie. It will be put back in its little baggie and stored in my cute little container and probably never used because A, I don't know what it's for and B, I'm a hoarder of brushes. So anyway, a Luxie brush is what I got, a dirty little secret eyeshadow crayon, um, a half empty bottle of Barefoot Venus Wild Flower Cream, fantastic stuff. Again, fantastic Seraphine Botanicals, love it hate the scent. 
And finally, the Ofra uh, what color unzipped, and it is barely well. It's got some transfer. It might have some more transfer because I did that oil stuff that that this first and then this, so maybe that's why. But um, it's a good kind of a good color. I think it's a good seasonal color. I would never have thought it would have come out that dark, but I kind of like it and the bag. So that is it. That is my Ipsy bag. What did you guys get? Um, let me know and I'll talk to you soon.